Hey, so I see I got this comment about the Tumo credit card. They said that you should make sure you have at least $1,000 in your account before applying. So some people was asking, is that an algorithm? And somebody else said that, you know what? I had $976 in there and was going to transfer $300. I didn't, but got denied. They absolutely checked my credit. So I didn't know that they were even going to check your credit report. But, you know, I guess they are going to check the credit. And they said they'll tell you when you apply that you have to have a minimum of thousand dollars so i put that i'm gonna tell others so just in case you all haven't tried listen to music don't mind that <laughs> go to my website all things rakita and look under go down look under credit card links and then go under i believe it will be under bad credit okay too with the two more credit card so let's see yep it's right here the two more credit card click right there let it load so with the two month credit card they can approve you for an amount from a hundred dollars all up to ten thousand dollars um no credit history is required i don't know why they said that they checked their credit maybe they checked to verify them but they usually don't check for like um to approve you they're not going to charge you any fees because if you charge anything on this card that money is going to be due within 28 days so they're not going to charge you any fees. You don't have any APR at all. But like you got some extra things that I didn't see here before. So take three wives will live and earn $5 credit. Um, free three months of the Dash Pass and $5 off each month. Oh, that is really nice. Hello Fresh discounts on your first five boxes plus free shipping. I like that. And Shop Runner, free membership, two days shipping and returns. So that this may be a good account that you guys may want if you do these different things. So I really like that. And like I said, they can approve you all the way between $100 all the up to $10,000. They're going to check your, check your bank account to see if you have like any overdrafts or anything like that. So if you have overdrafts, then... I wouldn't suggest you try, but if you want to still try, go ahead and try. They have so many different things that they offer you all. So look right here, too. They got the Fandango. I hope I'm even saying that right. That's where you can book your, um, get your movie tickets. And I like that, too. And they do streaming. I didn't like to do streaming. I used to use it all the time um, for my movie tickets when I used to purchase tickets. And then Priceline. Oh, wow. Okay. Travel rewards for Priceline. I use Priceline, so that's really good. $1,000 cell phone protection for stolen and um, damaged phones. That's really good. Zero liability. That's if you have unauthorized transactions like fraud. You don't have to worry about that. You have zero liability for that. And then they have emergency assistance anywhere, um, anytime, anywhere, in any language. So if you're out the country, if you have a problem, they have the... Um, emergency assistance for you so i actually got this credit card when i first told you all about it two years ago and honestly i don't use it i'm thinking i should charge something on it because i did get a notification that they were going to close if i didn't use it and i was just like ah, eh, okay close it it's okay but they did report to the credit bureaus they're still reporting to the credit bureaus so if you all are looking for a credit card that can report then you may want to look into this but like she said have at least a thousand dollars in your account and that should be possible you all put the money in your account have it in there then apply for it but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your email address here and when you all put your email address here they're going to um, ask you a few questions and I'm not sure if they're going to let you apply right now or you're going to have to be on the waiting list because when I first applied, you had to be on the waiting list. So please update me that on that, everybody. If you tried the sumo, are you going to be on the waiting list or are you going right through now? But definitely try this. Just make sure you have at least $1,000 in your account. Now, outside of that, you all can try. Oh, not this. I want to go back. You all can try to get approved for other credit cards. So you all will be able to apply for credit cards such as like these credit cards like that say you can, you can pre-qualify without a hard inquiry so let me see let me show it to you all so like the capital one you can pre-qualify without a hard inquiry navy federal um 
Navy Federal Credit Union. You can pre-qualify without a hard inquiry. Discover pre-qualify without a hard inquiry. That's if you all are trying to get approved for credit cards and for some reason you're getting denied and you really need to get credit. Try these credit cards here that can pre-qualify you all without a hard inquiry. So we got Credit One Bank. We have the Mission Lane here. Wayfair. Tumo. Apple. American Express can pre-qualify you all. The Credit One Bank can pre-qualify you all. So there's so many different credit cards on here. FNBO, NASA, um, Pedal 2, Walgreens, Prosper, Milestone, Indigo. So, so many of them. Destiny credit card. Now, if you all have really bad credit and that's the reason why you wanted to get that two more credit card. Because I have it under the um, bad credit list because they're not going to check your bank account and approve you based off of your credit somebody said they check their bank account but i think that was just to verify their identity honestly i don't think that it was for the approval process let me know if i'm wrong on that i don't know everything you all so if they're if i'm wrong on that let me know because they said that they checked their credit and i didn't know that they were going to check their credit for approvals but if you apply for that two more credit card because you didn't want them to check your credit then maybe you want to try to do like the shopping cart trick shopping cart trick is where you guys can get credit cards without um a hard inquiry and a lot of people got approved for like the victoria's secrets the overstock the good sam visa lane bryan express and children's place and if you all try the shopping cart trick, let these credit cards be added to your credit reports. So they're going to report to all three credit bureaus. When they report, your credit score should go up if you need credit cards. If you already have a lot of credit cards, you may see a dip because you have a new account. But if you need credit cards, you're going to see that your credit score is going to go up. And when your credit score go up, that's when I want you all, I say in about three to six months, I want you all to apply for more credit cards. And you can do the pre-qualification like I showed you all um, so that you don't have to um, just guess. You can just do the credit cards that can pre-qualify you all. And if you can't get the shopping cart trick to work, you're going to have to get some of these secure credit cards that's in here, like the credit builder card. That's a secure credit card. The kickoff account is $500 account, but I don't like the kickoff. I don't know how to say this in a sense right now, because they're going to start charging $5 per month instead of $2 per month. So on a year, that's $60. To me, that's a $60 annual fee for what? I don't like it. Um, I was okay with the $24 annual fee, kind of, because that's $2 per day for a year. I mean, $2 per month, and then for a year, that's $24. But $60, mm, I, I don't like that one. I, I'm sorry. I really, I don't know. I don't like, I like their installment account because they're not charging you any fees. But a $0.50 cent fee, I believe, if it's not coming out your bank account, I like that one because they report to all three credit bureaus, but the $500 account is not where it's at to me right now. Not right now. Not with the extra fees. That's basically a $60 annual fee. But you can try other accounts too, like Capital One have a secure card. Maybe Federal have a secure card. Discover have a secure card. Um, these secure credit cards, they're going to graduate. So if you put $200 down on these credit cards in about six to eight months, they're going to give you your money back and give you some of their money in a new credit card. So your um, account is going to graduate and then they're going to release your security deposit, which is really good. Um, but sometimes they're going to deny people. A lot of times they're going to deny people, especially if you have really, really bad credit. So if you have that problem where your credit is really, really bad, try to get the Open Sky secure card because they're going to prove anybody in any state. They just want to verify your identity. And um, the credit builder card, you're allowed to get two of those cards. So that's really good. They're not going to check your credit. But I know like in Wisconsin, you can't do the credit builder card. So I like the Open Sky because you can use the Open Sky when you're in Wisconsin. And also, let me see if it's a more secure. I just added a secure credit card, the First Progress credit card on here. I just added that one here. The fees for that one is actually better than Open Sky. It's only a $29 annual fee for that one compared to the $35 annual fee fee for open sky so you may want to check that out too but i'm not sure if that's the reason why you want to get the two more credit cards you want to get approved for other credit cards but if you get denied for that credit card 
and you really want that credit card because your credit score is low, you probably just need to get some of these secure credit cards, just to be honest. And a lot of times people don't want to just go the route and get their secure credit cards and they hurt themselves. Like if you know your credit score is really bad, check out these accounts and get them. Have them be added to your credit reports, bill with them. And like I said, too, get the Capital One, Navy Federal, and Discover. Those graduate. Like the Navy Federal, $200 deposit in six months, it'll turn into a $2,000 credit card, which I really love. It turns into a $2,000 credit card, and they'll give you your money back. You can bill from there, you know? And then um, after that, you all, later on, you can ask for an increase on your Navy Federal credit card and try to get it to 10000 So I like that, but you have to start. If you don't have enough credit cards, you really, really just have to start. Like, get started where you at and have get approved for the credit cards that's going to report to the credit bureaus. And if you were thinking, oh, let me get the two more credit card because of utilization, then here's some credit cards here that give you high limits because you can see the two more credit cards added to the list so yeah definitely check these out hopefully this video was helpful but i definitely want to let you know about that thousand dollars because yeah you have to make sure you have that i guess let me know if you all got approved and you didn't have a thousand dollars in your account and i'll talk to you all soon make sure you guys subscribe to the channel